was composting? Yeah. Wow, I wore the wrong shoes. So how often do you guys uh, come out here to compost? Um, so we were just chatting about this, but over the winter we weren't composting because I don't think this uh -huh. is like available for us to do it, but I don't know, what would you say, Brennan? Like, every month, at least? Uh, yeah. I try to. Nice. You compost? Yeah. You done? So how, how'd it go? <laughs> oh, it was thrilling over there. You should have seen it. You just dumped it in? Yeah, we yeah, dumped we it in. It. it went in. Yeah, you it missed it all the splashing great. that happened. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Uh, Alright, Jeff, you're on the vlog. Weird. Dude, I haven't had one of these things in like, I think since sophomore year. What is it? Chicken, uh, chicken, chicken salad. Caesar salad, man. Not bad. Not bad? Okay. What are you, uh, studying for? Ancient philosophy. Ancient? It's, uh, it's, yeah. It's all about Plato. Wow. Uh, right now I'm cramming. Learn about the uh, virtuous life as the happy life, you know? Like when the souls. Well, basically, it argues that there's like three parts to a soul, mm -hmm. uh, and that you can be an unjust person or not virtuous. I don't know, I don't mm -hmm. quite understand what, which one it is, but when the soul works in harmony, that is the three parts working together uh, and allowing each part to do their own thing and not getting in that heart's way allows for the soul to fully be its perfect form as a soul, right? And then as such, then the person who acts justly will act in a way that allows for those three parts to harmonize with each other mm -hmm. to make the one pitch that is the soul. What are the three parts? Uh, I can't remember right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm studying. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks, man. Thanks, Steph. Yeah, man, anytime. <laughs> what, your... Um, to make Whitman more accessible to future students. So you should all think about donating to the Whitman Class Senior Fund. And this is Annie. She's Hi. the chair of the Senior Fund. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, it's getting bigger every day. Uh, my crayfish says it's exoskeleton too. But like, I left the exoskeleton in there for a day and it was gone. So, I think he ate it, which is kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. How long have you had fish? Um, my old roommate and I last semester we got here. Mm. Um, and then I just took him, took him along for the ride. Nice. Yeah, it's been good. I uh, had a, like a genetics exam on Tuesday, which took the life out of me. And now I've just kind of been coasting for the week. We What's your major, off. Max? I'm a biology major. Hmm. Well, well, the fish are life. very fitting in that case. Yeah, I know, right? It's the study of life. <laughs> Dude, the, I actually caught the crayfish. <laughs> Ooh. Should we go at this door? Sure. John, I yeah. wanted to tell you that I personally am in support of the vlog a day idea. Vlog a day? Okay. Noted. Noted. I like to end my day by watching them. Yeah. Whose dog is this? That's the president's dog. It's Kathy Moore's. Wait, you mean the president of the college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is her dog? Yeah, this is her dog. The president like, of the United States of America. Yep. Come here, buddy. Hey, come here. Obama has um, a dog, doesn't he? Yeah, Obama does. Are those have a dog. mini tennis balls? Yeah. That's so cute. I've like lost so many of them. Um. So good. Oh, but you <laughs> should get some sweet shots of this dog. Some oh. slow motion, maybe. Scout is. Scout is an athletic beast. Okay. Got a lot of uh, nice footage. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for chilling, John. Get some graceful slow motion shots of Harrison. I think he's even more. Sam, is this a uh, consensual? Beautiful. Can I put you in the vlog now? Sam, Are you speak. not in the vlog? <laughs> no, I, I'll be in it. I'm not gonna be Guys, it's a vlog. Okay. Okay, this it's is, a why, vlog, this is why I think that you should do it every day is because in your first vlog, you're like, all vlogs, how many vlogs just capture 
That's real true. shit in everyday life. And so I think if you try to do it every week, I mean, you're always I would, it would just end up. Yeah, too. you pick like the greatest highlights, yeah. you know. And I personally, some of my favorite moments are like the most boring <laughs> things that are happening, but just people commenting on it. Like Max's uh, thing about the peanut butter jar. Yeah. He's like just he's just commenting on a regular dining room mess in Teague, and that that was that was, was really the hilarious. funniest. It was shit so ever. funny. Was... Maybe just make a vlog about Max. I don't yeah. know. You could, you could okay. just do that. Okay. Well, I think the two Maxes um, are my favorite characters. Yeah. If I, I could call them. I like you and Harrison on there together. I think you guys have good. Uh, We've got chemistry. good uh, yeah, chemistry yeah. on camera. Yeah, yeah exactly. All the sexual I honestly like. <laughs> I like the tea scenes the best, not because I guess because like I know a lot of the people, but because everyone is so used to you with the camera that yeah. there's less of the like oh Josh, awkward. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And and most of them at this point know what I'm doing, so right. we don't have to go over what are you doing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Whereas like for me, like, for me it's like <laughs> oh when we I can see tell. You, probably the last thing that I've like come into contact with that has to do with you is like watching a vlog. So that's gonna yeah. be the first thing that I like hmm. start to say to you. Interesting. It's like oh John, I saw your vlog. It was great. And so I, I like the teak scenes just because mm -hmm. people like they don't talk about the vlog. Do you think I should try to make it into like um no, like a like a penguin. not a scripted a penguin. thing, but sort of like a <laughs> sitcom <laughs> style like okay like <laughs> with like <laughs> some <laughs> amount of like <laughs> scripted just completely <laughs> fictitious <laughs> stuff. But then, like, have the characters that are already. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Don't see, keep me warm like a penguin. Oh. Uh, but see, okay, one thing you probably couldn't script shit like that. Yeah. That they just had to. They had to just do that. I do. I think it'd be move. sick just, if you. Just, like, well, you were I think the scripting thing could work, but you should start like. You should like have storylines that emerge not from the script. What's going on? <laughs> Or you could be like, you could be like Sam Crosby is into this girl. Like we're gonna chronicle like Sam exploring, uh, and then have like a like you know the talking head like testimonial, oh, like yeah. like in like oh the office God. or like Parks and Rec where they're like looking at the camera and explaining. Oh my God! If you would like followed not only Sam like being into a girl, but then people like other people giving commentary, like yeah. James being like, well, in my opinion, like Sam's strongest suits yeah. are uh, his butt and his strength in terms of carrying. James and also his yeah, general no respect for I'll human dignity. I think that he should really stick with those three strong boys when talking work. to these It'll women. Um, yeah, I think I think there are a lot of directions you could go with that, with like making storylines and doing it. I don't. Guys, what just happened? <laughs> we created a new circus that was act. That's like uh, like Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Thank you for the in-depth. Uh, uh, Analysis of the vlogs. Yeah, sure. Uh, if my That's opinion's crap, disregard good. it. Like, you no, I like it. I like it. I sort of want the vlog yeah, to just be shaped by the people on the vlog. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, just do whatever people tell me to do. Exactly, yeah. Sort of. Oh, that's know. sort of funny. That's a really good idea. John, how do you decide, like, when to put your camera down? Because, like, sometimes you'll, like, put the camera away. But yeah. then it's out, like, three <laughs> seconds later again. Uh, it just depends, really. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure... If somebody followed me around for a day, they could like come up with a detailed report on like what makes That's me. What I think the next step is so we need to get somebody else to make a vlog about you making a vlog. <laughs> that could be, that could be interesting, potentially. <laughs> I was actually doing what I was thinking. What? I would like get somebody to follow me with a 360 camera. Mm. So then it would be potentially more than just trolling. It wouldn't you know? just be literally you making a vlog and be like the scene around. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. That could be good. I don't know if anyone else really knows how to. I mean, I wouldn't know how to do a 360 camera. Oh, you. Oh, I could just set it up. All you have to do is hold you it. Just hold it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that I would one do day. That. Okay, I'd let's do, do it. Maybe yeah. this weekend or something. Yeah, one day. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. I'm gonna go eat. Finish eating. See you later. Bye. You came out. You interrupted your dinner to come out here. Yeah. That's dedication right there. Bye. <laughs> I am getting some shots of the sunset. But now you're also in it. <laughs> Later.